Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to use selector stop to handle those hidden elements. Sometimes what happens, there is a drop down. The moment I try to inspect it, it's getting invisible or it's getting hidden. Then I have already prepared a couple of videos on this particular topic and uh, I have found another solution with selector stop. Like you don't need to write any debugging script for that. You don't need to press any F8 and then moving from source to element to just need to click one single button, open your web component and then click one single button and then it will pause the debugger and uh, you can just after that inspect that element and then complete your scenario. And it's very smooth. I have tried on multiple applications. It's absolutely working fine. Doesn't matter. It is Angular application, React application, normal application, any kind of a JS based or jQuery based component that you are using in your application, it will work for all the applications. So you don't need to be dependent on blur property or event listener property or any kind of uh, a debugging script that you are writing for five, 10 seconds and all those things. You don't need to worry about it. You just need to have this plugin. If you have it, if you're already using it, select us up, this feature is already enabled and it's already available. Just need to use it and then start using it. So let's see how to do that. So here you can see this is flipkart.com. And the problem I'm talking about the moment you write, let's see MacBook. And these are the search suggestions are coming over here. Uh, the moment I try to inspect, for example, let's see MacBook Air M1, you right click on it and it's getting disappeared. Then I cannot inspect that element. And it's quite frustrating that why I'm not able to inspect it. Same thing if you come back to the Chrome Dev Tools here in the Chrome. And then you just again open the search and then try to inspect. The moment I try to click on this inspect, see, it's getting disappeared. So it is like quite frustrating. So what we used to do that you press F8 and then go to source and then put a debugger script over here. So now you don't need to do anything. You just need to download selectors up. If you are not having it, what you can do, you simply go to uh, selectorshub.com. On uh, selectorsub.com, you will find that plugin. Its plugin is absolutely free of cost. This plugin available on all the browsers. You can just download on uh, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browser, Opera browser, Chromium, Brave, everywhere it's available. You just need to click on install, absolutely free of cost. And uh, it is certified also from the Chrome and then having a amazing review and rating over here. You must be knowing about selectors of already for the locator strategy and everything. So once it is available, you can see that's visible over here or it will be visible in your uh, a Chrome Dev Tools also. So what you just need to do, click on elements and then selector sub visible over here. Generally selector sub comes here. You can just drag it anywhere. This tab, you can just drag it here also, here also. So for example, I'm using selector sub, so I'm using it here in the first tab. Then after that, what do you just need to do? See this carefully. There is one button that he has given. Click to turn on debugger. That's what I'm talking about. So what do you just need to do? <clears throat> First, you go to the specific scenario that, okay, I really want to look for the suggestions component or search component, just click on it, turn on <clears throat> debugger, just click on it. And then after that, you search for it after five seconds, it will automatically pause the script. See, you can see paused and debugger. So the entire page is a freeze now, and then uh, go to elements. Now you can easily inspect this element the way we were inspecting it normally. Now you can really want to create the XPath. You can create your XPath here or you can create your XPath, you will directly get the XPath over here as well. For example, for this particular span, you can verify the XPath, you can write your XPath. That's a different thing. Creating a locator is totally up to you how exactly you want to create it. Okay, anything that you really want to inspect, you can inspect it, it will not disappear. Once your work is done, you simply click on uh, run button once again, now again back to normal and that's it. That's super simple. Same thing if you go to this, uh, online grocery shopping application like bigbasket.com. This application is made out of uh, Angular based application. What do you do? You right click on it and go to inspect. Here you see that in the console, you will see that, uh, for example, I'm searching for something here. You can see that ng untouched, ng valid, ng empty. So ng means Angular component I'm using it or Angular uh, J, uh, framework that I'm using it, ng model. So whenever you see these kind of attributes, in your HTML, it means this application is based out of Angular JS application, right? So for example, let's see if I go to a uh, shop by category and uh, let's see, I go to uh, exotic fruits or exotic vegetable or anything or recipe packs. 
I right click on it and then go to inspect. The moment I inspect, see it's getting disappeared. So I cannot inspect it properly here once again. So in Angular also, you will face these kind of issues. For example, let's see if I go to um, cleaning and household and then stationary and then games and calculation calculators, right click on it and again, go to inspect. See, it's getting disappeared and it's not coming it over here. So simple, go to selector sub and then click on this uh, debugger option, turn on debugger, go to the respective component. Let's see man's grooming and hair care and styling. And after five seconds, it will automatically freeze the entire screen. After that, you do whatever you want to inspect. You can inspect it. You can just create your XPath locator or whatever CSS you want to create it. Now, see, it's not getting disappeared. The moment I inspect hair care and styling, and it's coming over here that, yeah, hair care and styling. After that, whatever um, you want to create locator, you can create that. Same thing if you go to Airbnb, Airbnb is the React based application. So here also you see that these kind of problems you will face. For example, let's see you moment you click on it and I really want to click on login, sign up, help or Airbnb or home. See, I try to right click and then go to inspect. The moment I inspect, it's getting disappeared. Again, it's gone. So that is quite frustrating. So what I can do here again, let's try this thing with the selectors up once again with the debugger option. So first of all, you go to selectors hub, click on this turn on debugger and open that menu and then wait for five seconds. It will automatically freeze the entire screen. And then after that, if you really want to inspect, you can inspect that. See, login, sign up and all those things. And then it's absolutely good to go. See, you can see login here. You can create an XPath or you can just get the XPath from here also like this. So that's really great. If you really want to check one more example, let's do that. React Playground and here you can see React Playground. You can write your React and it's actually a React based application. This uh, suggestion drop down is also coming here or menu item, especially menu and sub menu items. In this case also, let's see if I uh, right click on save and then try to inspect it. See, it's getting disappeared. Although it's coming it over here, but now if I really want to check that again, it's not coming here, see, right? So. If I really click on it and then now I cannot inspect it. The moment I try to click on it is getting disappeared. So this is again quite frustrating. Let's check with selectors hub once again. And uh, you just need to click on turn on debugger, open that menu and wait for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Now you can easily inspect these items, export, delete, whatever you want to inspect it. You can inspect it. Once your work is done, please release the debugger, click on this and then done. So that's all super easy. You don't need to be dependent on any kind of, uh, you know, what we used to do. We used to have this debugger script and all those things. We, we used to write like wait for five seconds after five seconds, put a debugger or 10 seconds. This feature is already provided by selectors hub. So you don't need to worry about it and it will work for all, all application. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. We used to do one thing that we used to click on F8 also, for example, let's see if I go there and then um, from the source. I have to press F8 from the keyboard to pause the debugger. Now see, the moment I press F8, pause in debugger, then you can do it. So now you don't need to do all those things. And then you simply go with the selector sub approach and it's absolutely working fine on different applications. So what do you think about this feature? Go with that, try and use it. And if you have some other uh, options to handle these kind of scenarios, write in the comment section and uh, let us know if you're facing any kind of issues. Thank you so much.